Mabuhai, this is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. Today, what does it mean that love is kind? And this channel, Love Beyond the Sea, is about um, foreigners and Filipinas. I married my wife eight years ago, and um, I had been alone for all, well, 30 years. And I had to learn to love right away. Almost all the time we have known each other, we've been married. We got married really, really fast. So let's get into this from GodQuestions.org. It's about love. Leave questions and subscribe here to Love Beyond the Sea. I also make videos about uh, practical aspects of being married to a woman from another country. 1 Corinthians 13, I talk about that a lot, stands as one of the most famous chapters in the Bible. The subject is love. And many consider this portion of scripture to be Paul's greatest literary work. In verse 4 we read, love is kind. In verses 1 through 3, the word love is mentioned three times in the context of great religious endeavors, which are nothing without love. Then Paul begins to paint a picture of love's qualities. And one of the first strokes of his brush reveals that love is kind. Kindness is noted as part of the fruit of the Spirit. You can find in Galatians 5, 22 and 23, Love is also in the list, revealing that close connection between love and kindness. Living a life of love marked by kindness is one aspect of living in a way that pleases God. Kindness is characterized by benevolence and tenderness. A kind person is disposed to help others and to do so with sympathy and consideration. Godly love will make a person kinder. No one can be loving and unkind at the same time. God is love, First John 4, 8, verse 8, First John 4, 8, and that means he is kind. God's kindness leads to repentance, it says in Romans 2, 4, and salvation, Romans eleven twenty two. The ultimate expression of God's kindness is found in the quote, the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness kindness to us in Christ Jesus, end of quote. That's Ephesians 2, 7. So wrapping up here, love is kind. It's a lot of things, but it is kind. May the Lord fill us with his love so that we might be kinder, more forgiving people for his glory. Now, that's the end of the article from godquestions.org. I just want to say that when you are married, and I hope you can get married and you're not one of those folks that feels like you know giving up right now, because it seems like there's a dearth of women available. But if you do get married, when you do, know that you will need to become good at being kind, being sympathetic towards your wife. That means to feel her pain and be considerate, understand her. First Peter 3, seven through nine tells husbands to dwell with their wives according to knowledge in an understanding way. It doesn't matter if you marry a woman from the Philippines or Timbuktu. It's something you will need to do. This kind of kindness is bound to be reciprocated in marriage. There needs to be more of it in marriage. Stay tuned for more of these type of videos. Actually, let me remember, I've got a playlist that started in YouTube called, I probably call it just plain love. Love and all of these videos and others are in there. So if you're interested in um, marrying a woman from the Philippines, which is still a good place to find a wife, and I think much quicker than you're apt to find one in the West. If you're looking for marriage, you know, stay tuned to this channel. It's all about making your life better. It's not about, you know, using women. It's about being able to get married and learn what it takes to have a long in satisfying marriage. So I hope you will subscribe here on Love Beyond the Sea.